We now know the victim's names killed on Saturday night. Kelly Loving, Raymond Green Vance, Ashley Paw, Daniel Aston, and Derek Rump. Paul was a mom and a wife. Family said she had a huge heart. She loved her kids and her family in Colorado. She worked for a nonprofit that helps find foster homes or homes for foster children. Family of Daniel Alston called him the master of silly business who loved to make people laugh. His family says he worked as a bartender and entertainer at Club Q. And Derek Rump was also a bartender killed that night. He was friends with Daniel Aston. Friends said he always tried to make others feel comfortable. Raymond Green Vance was there with his girlfriend and his family to celebrate a birthday. Family says he was kind and selfless. Kelly Loving's family says they'll remember her as a good person, someone who is loving, caring, and so sweet. So far, we still don't have a motive, at least investigators aren't gonna say anything about that as well. Nine News Crime and Justice reporter Matt Jablo was at the press conference this afternoon. He's joining us with more on the investigation itself. Matt. Kim and Tom, a few headlines from today's police press conference that ended late this afternoon. For starters, as you guys just said, they released the names of the five people who were killed in the shooting. They also downgraded the number of injured from 25 to 18, 17 of whom were shot. And they said the suspect, who was arrested on suspicion of first-degree murder and bias crimes resulting in bodily injuries, is still in the hospital suffering from unspecified injuries. I wanted to ensure that every victim, family member, and friends of victims, and all of our community members know that our officers and detectives will continue to be diligent and thorough in our work to hold the suspects accountable for these horrendous acts. Police today also released the names of the two hero customers inside Club Q who took down the gunman and likely saved lives soon after the shooting began. Colorado Springs Mayor John Southers today talked about his conversation with one of those heroes. I have never encountered a person who had engaged in such heroic actions that was so humble about it. He simply said to me, I was trying to protect my family. Because the suspect is still in the hospital, formal charges have not been filed against him by prosecutors. That could happen sometime in the next few days. Kim and Tom. Of course, we continue to follow it uh, with so many thoughts of all those victims. We'll, uh, we'll stay tuned. Thank you, Matt.